Hi there. If you have a problem with Bluetooth adapter, and in order to keep it working you have to reinstall its drivers every time after you restart your computer, I will show you how to fix it once and for all. Meanwhile, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's get started. By the way, this tutorial is intended for Windows only. Let's open Device Manager to see our Bluetooth adapter. Click on Start button and start typing Device Manager. It should search and find Device Manager like this. Click on it. And here are all of our devices. You can see right away that my Bluetooth adapter has a yellow warning icon next to it. This indicates a problem. If yours is showing same thing, then this video is for you. Right-click on it and select Properties. This window shows up and right away we can see the description of the problem right here. Notice is problem code 19. This tutorial is especially made to fix problem when your code is 19, like mine, but it may also be helpful in other situations. Usually all tutorials online tell you to uninstall this device and scan for changes to install it again, and it works, but only until you restart your computer. I will show you a more permanent solution. My first, not so permanent solution I was able to find is to make a shortcut on my desktop to this Bluetooth troubleshooting utility app, which searches for problem and comes up with a solution. What it does is reinstalls the device so you don't have to do it manually from device manager. But you still have to do this every time your Bluetooth adapter stops working. So I wasn't completely happy with that solution. So I figured that if the device needs to be reinstalled when it has the issue, then why not make it all fully automatic? To make it automatic, I started to look for commands that can run in batch file that reinstall the problem device with code 19. Here is what I came up with, with help of AI of course. Create a text file, then name it whatever you want that makes sense to you, but change the file extension to .bat for batch. Confirm that you want to change the file extension. I will put this code in my video description so you could copy and paste it. This is the command that searches for a device with problem code 19. If your problem code is different, you can replace 19 with your problem code. Then it looks for instance ID of that device. In Device Manager, we can see the instance ID of our Bluetooth device in Properties window, Details tab, and selecting Device Instance Path. This is the ID we use to temporarily uninstall the device. Lastly, we run a command to search for new devices, and our Bluetooth device gets found as a new device and gets installed automatically fairly quickly because device drivers don't get removed and reinstalled this way. By the way, this code doesn't reinstall the device if it doesn't have the error code. Now save this file wherever you want. You don't need to see this file often, so you can save it in some folder that you don't get across often. Lastly, we need this batch file to be executed automatically when computer starts. We can use Windows Task Scheduler for that. You can find it by searching for it when you open Start menu like this. In Task Scheduler, create a new task like this. Type the name for this new task, such as Reinstalling Bluetooth Adapter. You can also type a description, if you want it to remind you what it does later on. As you can see, I already created my task, so I will show you properties of my task so you could copy each of my settings to your new task. I selected to run it only when user is logged on. I selected Windows 10 as my operating system. I didn't select hidden so I could see the black command window briefly pop up and remind me what it does. You can choose to make it hidden if you want. For a trigger, you need to create a new trigger by clicking new button. My trigger looks like this. You can customize it for yourself any way you like. In Actions tab, we create a new action and select the batch file we created. Hopefully, you still remember where you saved your batch file. Click Browse button to select it and OK to save it. Here are my other settings. Make sure that Highest Privileges checkbox is selected. It make the script run as administrator. Once you are done making your task, click OK to save it and that's it. If you did everything correctly, next time you log into your computer, the Bluetooth adapter should get fixed automatically. Now that your Bluetooth adapter is fixed, make sure you click the like button to help others find this video. Let me know in comments if it helped you. I am really curious. 
because I was really happy when I figured this out for myself to fix my adapter. Subscribe to my channel to see my other videos I will be posting soon, otherwise you will just lose me forever. Thank you for staying with me until now. Have a wonderful rest of the day.